Hello. Let's now approach a contextual problem in which we're going to make use of this product rule. We're going to have to interpret the information given in the problem in words and even create a function ourselves. Uh, let's consider uh, a store that uh, sells uh, sports goods and among other items they are selling this uh, particular pair of running shoes that cost $80 each. We know that at this price the store sells 150 pairs each month. The store has conducted a survey because they are interested to find out what would be the behavior of the customers if they apply a price reduction to this item. They concluded that for every $5 price reduction, 15 more customers will buy one pair each month on average. This is basically what we know. The first thing that we need to do is to express the revenue as a function of the number of $5 price reductions. And we're going to denote that with N. So let's see how we can approach something like this. Because, like I said, we have to determine the function. We don't have it. We need to determine it. Let's organize the information that is given to us in this problem uh, in such a way that we can actually make use of that uh, knowledge so we can determine the revenue in regards to the number of price reductions. Initially, the price is $80. That means there is no price reduction. So let's start with that. Let's say N. This represents the number of price reductions. So there is no price reduction, so N would be 0 then the price per uh, unit, each pair, is going to be $80. So I'm going to write here 80. We also know that at this price, the store sells 150 pairs of shoes. Now what would be the revenue? The revenue is the amount of money that you make, basically, from selling this many uh, items at that price. So it would be the product between the price per unit times the number of units, right? So 80 times 150. But now, uh, let's use the rest of the information that's given to us in the problem. So basically, for every $5 price reduction, what does that mean is that N would be 1, one price reduction, then the price per unit is going to be 80 minus 5, and I'm going to write it like that. I'm not going to perform the operation here because what I'm trying here is to visualize what happens with each price reduction, right? And in this case, the number of shoes that are being sold each month is going to be 150 plus 15, because it says for each price reduction, 15 more customers will buy a pair of shoes. So at that 150 already sold, you're going to have 15 more customers for one price reduction. And the revenue is going to be just like before, the product between the price per unit times the number of uh, shoes sold. And I'm going to use those expressions that I just had. What would happen if you would have uh, two price reductions? If you would reduce the price with $10? So N is going to be 2, then the price is going to be 80 minus 5 times 2, the number of reductions, and the shoes sold would be 150 plus 15 times 2, right? The revenue function, again, is going to be the product of this price unit times the shoe sold in this situation where you have n equals to 2. And now for an n number of uh, price reduction, you can generalize uh, this expression such as 80 minus 5 times n and the uh, number of pairs of shoes sold each month is going to be 150 plus 15 times n. Thus, the revenue function is going to be the product between these two expressions, 80 minus 5n times 150 plus 15n. So let me just write that uh, clearly here. We can say the revenue function R in regards to n, the number of price reductions, is going to be 80 minus 5n times 150 plus 15n. The next thing that we need to determine at point B is drdn, the derivative of uh, the revenue function in regards to n, and interpret its meaning. We determine that the revenue function in regards to uh, the number of price decreases is 80 minus 5n 
times 150 plus 15n. Then let's calculate the derivative of this function in regards to n, dr dn. We can easily apply the product rule, as we can see it's a product of two expressions here. So the derivative of the first expression is minus 5 times the second expression is 150 plus 15n plus the first expression stays unchanged, so 80 minus 5n times the derivative of the second expression, which is 15. And now expanding those parentheses and simplifying, we're going to have minus 750 minus 75n plus 1200 minus 75n. So we can conclude that drdn is minus 150n plus 450. Or we can even uh, factor out 150 uh, times 3 minus n. This is the derivative uh, dr dn. And this represents nothing else than the rate of change of the revenue for each $5 price decrease. At point C, we need to determine the rate of change in revenue when the price of a pair of running shoes is $70 each. What does that mean? The initial price was $80. In order for the price to be $70, that means a difference of $10. Or we can evaluate this $10 price decrease as n times a $5 price decrease, which is the increment of uh, price decreases, right? So in other words, n is 2. For two price decreases of $5, right, we're going to have a price decrease of $10. That means that we can evaluate the rate of change of the revenue because we already have the expression for the rate of change of the revenue in regards to the number of price uh, decreases. So drdn when n equals 2 is going to be 150 times 3 minus 2 because n is 2 in this case. And that's equal to 150. In other words, we can say that when the price of the pair of shoes is $70, the rate of change in revenue increases by $150 for each price decrease. That's the significance of uh, this result. Let's answer one more question uh, related to this uh, problem. At point D, how many shoes are being sold at this price of $70 each? We already determined that from the initial price of $80 to $70, we have a difference of $10, which it's uh, corresponding to two $5 decreases. So n is two. And the expression for the number of uh, pairs of shoes sold in the general situation, it was 150 plus 15 times n. Replacing n with two in this expression, we're gonna have 150 plus 30, so it's 180 pairs of shoes that are being sold at the price of $70 per uh, pair. Thanks for watching.